Hey crochet lovers, welcome to AB's Art. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn this beautiful motive rose, which looks quite tricky, but trust me, it is very easy to make with only two stitches, half double crochet and double crochet. So let's start. For this project, I have taken cotton yarn, 3-ply yarn. I had some spare yarn, so I'm going to use this yarn. We'll start this by making a chain of 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 10 okay my hundred chains I've done and now I'm gonna slip stitch in the eighth chain from the hook in this circle I'll make chain one up and 17 double crochet two three four Now I'm done with 17 double crochet and I'm going to make one half double crochet in the same ring. For petal one, I'm going to do my stitches under the chain, under the chain, not within the stitches on the chain. We'll make it under the chain. So we'll take one chain stitch up. one half double crochet and 15 double crochet from under the chain one two three Four, I'm done with my 15 double crochet and now I'm going to make one half double crochet and do a slip stitch on the seventh double crochet of the ring on the seventh chain stitch. Just make sure it will not get twist, it would be in the right side. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So after petal one, our flower looks like this. For petal 2, I'm going to take chain 1 up and again behind the chain, not within the chain, behind the chain we'll make our stitches for petal 2. So we'll make one half double crochet and 17 double crochet. One. Three, four, five, okay, so seventeen 
double crochet with one half double crochet is done I'm gonna do a slip stitch on the seventh double crochet from the last stitch let's count from the last slip stitch where we have done from there we will count seven stitches one two three four five six seven here we will do a slip stitch and our petal two of the flower is done our flower looks somewhat like this now and again for petal three chain one up and behind the chain stitch first make one half double crochet this time we'll make 18 double crochet one two three four five likewise we have to make all right my 18 double crochet with one half double crochet is done and now i'm going to do a slip stitch on sixth double crochet or sixth stitch of petal one one two three four five and six sixth one i'm going to do slip stitch and now my petal Three is ready. Looks like somewhat like this now. Let's start with petal two now. Chain one up. One half double crochet behind the chain. 18 double crochet this time one half double crochet uh -huh. 18 double crochet one two three four five Likewise, we have to make 18 double crochet. So my 18 double crochet with one half double crochet is done. And I'm going to slip stitch on the second stitch of petal 2. Second stitch of petal 2. Which is second double crochet of petal 2. And our fourth petal is done. A flower looks like this. Isn't it looking great? Yes. So we're already done with the four petals. Now, for petal five, chain one up. Behind the chain, we one half double crochet 15 double crochet this time one two three four five six Seven. Likewise, we have to make so our fifteen double crochets are done. I'm gonna make one half double crochet here, and now I'm gonna do a slip stitch in the tenth double crochet of this petal. One, two. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. And the 10th stitch of the petal. 10th double crochet. So our petal 5 is ready now. Let's move to petal number 6. Chain 1 up. One half double crochet behind the chain. This time for petal 6 we will make 16 double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen double crochet with one half double crochet is done. And I'm going to do a slip stitch on 6th double crochet or 6th stitch of petal 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then do slip stitch here and with this my petal number 6 is also ready. Start with petal 4, petal 4, 1 chain up one half double crochet behind the chain and now 15 double crochet one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. I'm gonna make one half double crochet and now this I will twist it on the right side and I will do a slip stitch I'll join this pattern with the slip stitch on the 11th double crochet from the last stitch we have made on this petal 3 11 double crochet 11 11. Okay, with this our petal number 7 is also ready and so far a flower looks like this. For petal number 8, chain 1 up, 1 half double crochet behind the chain and this time we'll make 17 double crochet, 17 double crochet. My 17 double crochet with one half double crochet is done. I'm going to join this petal on the 11th double crochet of petal 4. 11th double crochet. So I'm here. And our petal number 8 with this is ready. It looks so beautiful. I'm going to do the last petal with one chain up and 15 double crochet this time for the last petal. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, eleven, 
likewise I'll move on to 15. My 15 double crochet with one half double crochet is done and I'm going to join this and do fourth double crochet that is five. One, two, three, four. I'm going to join it here. With this, our ninth petal is done and our flower is ready. It's so easy to make. And I'm going to take chain one up and cut the yarn. Chain one up. I'm going to cut the yarn. And the remaining chains I will hide behind the petals. I show you how. I'm gonna hide this behind the petal. Like this. So with the help of the tapestry needle, I'm going to hide this remaining chain behind the petal or what you can do is in the starting you can even take 90 chains instead of 100 chains that would be better so this is how you have to sew the remaining chains behind the flower I'm doing it here. This is how you have to hide the tail. Okay, I'm gonna cut the remaining with the help of the pad with the other pair of scissors and the flower is finally ready with all the finishing work looks like this so friends make these modded flowers it will look very good on your dresses on your frocks on headbands and um, please keep liking sharing and subscribing my videos towards the end of the video i have posted stepwise pics of my project so you can check it out as well i'll give description of how to make this beautiful flower.